Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, I'm going to show you what I carry on my tool belt. This tool belt that I've got is a hybrid. And what I mean by that is if you look, this says custom toolbelt.com. This says bully bag. I bought the Katmandu bag several years ago. So this is part of the Katmandu bag. And then several years ago I bought the bully bag. And they actually don't, I don't think they make this, that gun belt, they don't, I don't think they make this bag anymore with the hooks. <clears throat> I was on a roof looking at a a mod bid roof and I bit down to look at something and this silly hook that hook on the bag hooked the loop on my boots that I couldn't get up this hook is also hooked the side of the uh, ladder rails when I was getting off and on the ladder so it's kind of a safety hazard now don't get me wrong I'm not discouraging anybody from buying the bag it's a fan it's a fantastic bag it's my favorite uh, tool pouch of all time they actually went to nylon loops instead of these hooks and that's probably why so on my belt i have three pouches and a lot of people are like good grief why do you carry all that junk with you well guess what when you're running back to the van to get something i'm sitting there writing my scope notes that's why <clears throat> So this belt I bought from Amazon. I don't like the type of belt like this type. It kind of loosens up. If you have a belt like this, then it stays in one spot. It doesn't loosen up when you move around. So we'll start with the bully bag. Tape measure. My favorite uh, tape is a Stanley Fat Max. For us old guys, we can really read the numbers pretty easy. I've actually dropped this off a roof a couple of times and it was fine. A pin, uh, my favorite flashlight of all time. I got this at Home Depot. It's a Coast XP11R. The thing I like about it is it's super bright and you can dial in the zoom or zoom out and then you can also make it brighter. But whenever you're in a house that doesn't have electricity, and you're trying to look at a water spot or something, this is fantastic. The other thing I like about it is the charging porch right here. It comes with this lithium battery, but it also comes with this other adapter. You can just slide three AAA batteries in. So you can do either or. I kind of like that because if this battery goes dead on you, you've got some AAAs, you can just throw that in there and keep going, not have to wait for the flashlight to charge. This is a laser tape. It's a Bosch GLM 50. I love this one because it has really large numbers and readouts so you can see it. If you're gonna get one and you don't wanna spend a lot of money for like a, like a Leica, I'd love to have a Leica, but I'm not gonna spend $450 on the one I want. Uh, a Bosch is a good alternative. And the cool thing about this bully bag is it has four pouches on the side. It has two pouches that you can just slide stuff in here and here. But it also has these pouches that has these flaps. So not that you would be hanging upside down, but it keeps all your stuff. Had some leaves in there. But it'll keep stuff secure for you. Got shingle gauge. Got a multi-tool, it's a Gerber bull rush. You never know when you're gonna need a pliers or even a knife. So it's always good to have a multi-tool with you. Inside here, I've got my 100 foot tape. I've got my pitch gauge. And then the other device that I carry is a metal thickness gauge. So you're out looking at a, a shop building, you, uh, you're replacing the roof and all the sheet metal on the shop. 
you put 29 gauge metal down on your estimate, you get a supplement for 26 gauge metal. Well, if you didn't check the thickness of the metal panels, you don't know. That's why I always carry one of these. I put it on the uh, metal panel, take a picture of it. That way, if I get a supplement or there's any questions later on, I did my due diligence and wrote an accurate estimate. Now this bully bag has this large pouch inside, but it also has a smaller pouch. It's really for chalk, but chalk gets messy. So I just keep my metal thickness gauge in there. It has a tape measure clip and then a place for your business cards or your ID. Um, now this is the chalk bag that I got off the uh, custom tool belt. I incorporated this into my belt. So I throw a bunch of chalk in there. I've got gloves. I use these gloves on roofs to keep me from falling off. You say, well, how do you use gloves not to fall off the roof? Well, I've got another video where I talk about that, but so you've got your two feet that are in contact with the roof. And then these are super grippy gloves. You can put them on the shingles. Now you've got four points of contact. Sometimes you're gonna have to crawl on all fours to get off the roof or get off on the roof safely. The other thing you want to bring is a camera. This is the uh, Canon Power Shot. So I've got these little mini binoculars, and you say, what are those for? Well, what these are for is sometimes you'll be on a house and they have two-story guttering. So I use these to look up at the gutters. Also, if I'm on a two-story house and I'm actually on the roof, I don't want to get too close to the eave. Three feet from the eave, three feet from the rake is the danger zone. You don't really want to get any closer to that eave than three feet. And so what I do is I take these mini binoculars and I can look and I can see hail dents in the gutters. That way I'm not getting out there into the danger zone, risk falling off the uh, roof. Now, sometimes you go out to a property, the property's blasted. You're replacing all the gutters and downspouts anyway. Um, and then I've got this clipboard pouch. It makes it nice because you just because if you're looking at something you write something down and then you need to look at something or you need to get on the ladder put that and you're completely hands-free. That's what I like about this pouch. Really really good. This is custom tool belt. Like I said I just took pieces of the Katmandu. I have the other pouches uh, from the Katmandu belt and I actually have the padded belt that it comes with. Like I said, I just kind of made my own hybrid. This seems to work best for me. I hope this video helps you all. If you're new and you're just getting started, it's going to take you a little bit to figure out what setup is the best setup for you. What I would say is these are kind of the basic tools. A lot of folks that I've been on inspections with, they just show up with a tape measure and a clipboard. And then they make fun of me because all this other gear. Well, that's fine. I mean, if that works for them, fine, whatever. So um, I hope that helps. Um, I do appreciate you all watching the video. I appreciate all the comments. That really means a lot to me that you guys are getting some value out of these videos. And so I'll see you all in the next video.